everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. How are you today? So we're gonna talk about VBI CTAs multi-actions. And CTAs are something that we're gonna actually go and look up here. All right, so we've got VBI Visual by Impulse loaded here. And what we're gonna look at is actually their tools. And so that way you can understand what supers are as far as CTAs. And yes, they have some really cool stuff. The profile rings are really cool. It lets people know when your little ring is in green when you go live. You can actually update this manually on Twitch and you can actually do it in red too. I, I do have them. I'm, I love using anything VBI because it's so easy to use. And their tutorials are really awesome. So this is what a super is, which is a CTA. And, uh, you can get credits. Here's the price for them. So, you know, everything is there. And let's go ahead and look at the CTAs. All right, so we're at the supers. And when you browse, you're able to see all of these different amazing, what people call social call outs, but CTAs. And there's even cool ones that you can do for your emotes. And if you're an affiliate, you get your VBI CTA. That one is actually free to you, so you will see that popping up here. Um, I can show you my library. Here we go. It takes a moment to load. Here's a Twitch Prime one that you're going to be seeing. Here's a Discord one. You can actually choose quite a few different ones. Um, here is a Twitch Follow, and this was my old logo before Crabs updated mine, so it's now this one. And of course, the VBI CTA. I have it in a MOV as well as the, the web one. And there's even YouTube that you can customize. So it's pretty awesome. They have Facebook, they have Instagram, they have TikTok. They even have Mochi, the cat, and the space kitty. So uh, check them out, you know. And you'll see the, the link there and the code too when you go on VBI. Let's go ahead and get started on doing a multi-action recipe though. So that way we can see our CTAs loop in the order that we put them on our OBS or whichever streaming program you use. We're getting started here with a multi-action because this is basically what we're gonna be telling our program to do is how we want it to put certain things in certain intervals while we're making it do what we want it to do with just a push of a button. And that's gonna be right here where it says multi-action. Now that we're inside of our multi-action, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is going to our OBS Studio plugin and we are actually going to be using source visibility. So this is honestly all we're going to need in that section because we're going to basically come back here and we're going to just be using our sources and our delays. I'm going to be copying and pasting the source, but if you want, you can come back here and do it over and over and over. But honestly, I figure copy and paste is a lot easier than going back and forth between two different uh, actions that we're going to be doing. So the first one is going to be our Twitch follow, and we're going to pull up our CTA here. And this is what it looks like. So if we're looking at it, right, we're looking at our CTA here, and we have it highlighted, it's going to tell you that it's going to be six seconds. So now that we know that this is six seconds, which we can now turn this off, we can come here to our delay and put six seconds. So basically we're gonna let this run for six seconds and then we're gonna delay for that six seconds because that's how long the CTA runs. And then we're gonna copy our source, we're gonna paste it and we're going to hide it. So after six seconds, it shuts off. Now what I'm gonna do so I don't get lost is rename my CTAs because it's kind of a rinse and repeat process. And this is gonna be my Twitch follow. What I do is name this one six seconds. And then we're gonna delay after that two seconds before we run our next CTA. You can do one second, you can do two seconds, you can do for however long you wanna do it. Just keep in mind, it is milliseconds. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing 2000, that's two seconds. Um, I say seconds because I know milliseconds versus seconds versus minutes. Um, and if you're not sure, you can always Google and it will tell you how many milliseconds you need to put there for whatever duration of time that you're delaying an action. So the next action we're going to do is going to be the next CTA. And I'm going to call this one Prime. We're going to show it because we want to turn it on. 
and we're going to select prime. Now, prime, I believe, is nine seconds. Let's see, it says right here the, the length of time. So it's nine seconds, and then we're going to shut it off. So we don't need it running because we know what our duration is. So we're going to delay it by nine seconds. We're going to call this one nine seconds. Now, if you notice, they are in different positions. For example, the Twitch Follow and my Twitch Prime. I've customized where I wanted these on OBS. As you can see, the little red box is highlighted. I could basically move this anywhere I want, but I prefer to keep mine right here in the center. Um, my Prime, I can move this anywhere I want, but I like it in the top left. And then after we do Prime, we have our Discord. And I put this one at the bottom because I think it looks cute at the bottom. And then that one is running for six seconds as well. So we're gonna turn that off because that's actually the next one we're doing. So from here, we're working on our prime. We've already basically told it to start, delay it for nine seconds so it shows the entire CTA. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna hide. So we're gonna do our delay again of two seconds. Personally, I find two seconds to be ideal before it moves on to the next CTA. But again, you can customize it to your preference. So we're gonna copy the source again. And this time, we're gonna be selecting our Discord. So I'm gonna name this one Discord and we're gonna show it. And we're gonna come here and select our Discord CTA. So the delay was six seconds. So we're gonna run it for six, Milli or 6,000 milliseconds, but six seconds. So we're gonna name this one six seconds. We're gonna copy our source again. Now, if you notice when you copy and paste, when you run out of space here at the bottom, you can actually drag your action all the way up. And then from here, we can turn off this particular action because we're gonna show it, let it run for its course of six seconds, and then turn it off. And then we're gonna do our next delay Again, I'm doing two seconds. Oh, I forgot to write the two. Okay, there we go. And then our next one is gonna be our VBI code, which is going to be our code for affiliates to provide a discount to you. And we think VBI for that. VBI is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna name this one VBI code. And we're gonna show this. We're gonna select our VBI code. Now, if you're not sure what the duration of something is, you can just turn on the CTA and it's gonna run its course. This one, I know it's gonna be 15 seconds. So look, we're at nine, 10, and we can see it at the bottom right here, we can count. And there's 15 seconds. So now that we know that, we can turn it off. We can drag our delay here. And what we're gonna do is put in 15000 as far as the milliseconds, and name this one 15 seconds. All right, so we're gonna copy our VBI source again, and this time we're gonna drag up the 15 seconds, and we're gonna hide it. Now, after this one, because these are the only ones that I'm actually showing when I go live streaming on Twitch, um, I have a YouTube one, but I actually use my YouTube one for video edits. But if you are doing the YouTube CTA, it tells me that it's gonna be seven seconds. We could technically add in the YouTube CTA as well. So it would be a rinse and repeat process if I were to do that. So the first thing I would do is come here to my delay, delay it for two seconds. And then the next thing we're gonna do is copy our source. We're gonna paste. We're gonna drag up the two seconds because sometimes when we're pasting at the very bottom here, it actually goes above it. So you wanna make sure that you're in the correct order. And what we're gonna do is name this one YT for YouTube. We're gonna show it. We're gonna change it here to YouTube subscribe because that's how I have it labeled. And what I'm gonna do is drag my delay over here and we're gonna delay this for seven seconds. And then we're gonna copy our source again for YouTube. 
We're gonna drag the seven seconds up and we're gonna hide our YouTube that we just pasted right here and delay. So if you're doing all of your CTAs on your stream or your video or whichever you decide to do, if you wanna add them all or if you wanna be selective, you can. But I'm gonna actually delay this for 30 minutes. So we're gonna call this one 30 minutes. And for the milliseconds on 30 minutes, it's going to be this number right here, 180000. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five zeros after the eight. So that is going to be 30 minutes. And then you're going to rinse and repeat for however long you plan on running your CTAs. So we would basically copy from the very top, paste. We're going to drag up, copy our off, paste, drag up. And it is a tedious process of rinse and repeat, but this is the end result. So we're going to minimize our multi-action here, and we're going to run the multi-action. I'm going to select the button on my stream deck, and you're going to see it run right here on the recording. And you would basically copy and paste this for however long you plan on running this particular action. For me, my streams average between an hour and 30 minutes, two hours, maybe two and a half to three hours, one time even four hours. So I can create this at max maybe four hours because I, I usually don't stream beyond that. Um, if you're a streamer who is going to have a designated time frame to stream, whether it be an hour, two hours, three hours, you should do the multi-action tailored to your stream. So all you have to do throughout the entire stream is just push the button once and it'll automatically do that process for you, no matter what you're doing with your computer. If you're running a video game or, it, and you can run a PC game and it's not gonna affect the multi-action at all because that's already set up to do what you told it to do, which I think is really awesome. So as I was talking, you were noticing all of the CTAs pop up, and that's pretty much how it operates. Right now, it's not complete because it's running the course of 30 minutes, but we're not going to actually do a video for 30 minutes. But I hope this has helped you all in figuring out how to do your CTAs in whichever order that you put them on your OBS or whichever streaming program you use. And then you just hit the one button when you go live, or actually maybe after you go live, um, I want to say you probably should do this like after you start seeing your interactions and then hit the button. That way you can remind everybody without having to tell them all the time. And they just see it there on the screen and then they're checking out the VBI code or whichever CTAs you're popping up there. Anyways, thank you for watching. You all have a lovely day.